New at 11, surveillance video shows thieves breaking into cars in one Com Cobb County neighborhood. Now, police are crediting some vigilant neighbors for helping them catch these suspects. Channel 2's Matt Johnson is live on Atlanta Road, and police say a pursuit reached nearly 100 miles an hour. Matt? Police say it was so dangerous going up and down Atlanta Road that an officer actually called off the chase at one point. Cobb police are warning residents that car break on car break ins are on the rise all over the county. It's not the kind of thing you expect when you lay down at night. Surveillance video captured armed thieves rummaging through a woman's car and her neighborhood before officers captured them after a police pursuit. It's very unsettling to think, you know, while you're sleeping, someone's this close to your home going through your things. Claudia Howard says she heard the thieves making the rounds in her Cobb County neighborhood at around 1 o'clock Sunday morning. More video shows the same thieves coming back in a Nissan Altima 15 minutes later, but they left when they saw people outside. Police say they spotted that stolen car nearby at North Church Lane and Atlanta Road at around 1.30. Officers tried to make a traffic stop, but they say the people inside kept going. The vehicle went ahead and fled from them going speeds at about 95 miles an hour. The responding officer called off a pursuit due to safety concerns. Other officers in the area helped keep a visual on the car until it crashed near 285 and Hollowell Parkway. Police found a gun when they arrested 18-year-old Jacquez Ivy, 17-year-old Rochelle Jones, and 18-year-old Tremont Douglas. Cobb police say this is just one of many recent car break-in cases in the neighborhoods. Entering autos currently are the only area right now where crime is up. Claudia Howard says after three cases of break-ins in six months in her neighborhood, she's thankful the new cameras came in handy. You want to be in a safe area, um, but at the same time you have to be vigilant. Now, there are at least five people in that surveillance video, but because it's an ongoing investigation, it's unclear what happened to the other two. The trio arrested remain in jail charged with multiple felonies. Live in Cobb County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News, Night Beat.